Traders will always be given a price for purchasing or selling specific assets. Depending on their order volume, it may positively or negatively impact the total average price. Rather than relying on traditional buyers and sellers in a financial market, automated market makers use liquidity pools to make the DeFi ecosystem liquid 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But what is automated market makers and how does it work? Let's take a closer look at this. The term AM, or automated market maker, will be familiar to anyone who follows decentralized finance regularly. It's an innovative concept that allows for trading without human intervention. Let's begin with a decentralized finance revolution. Developers can use blockchain technology to decentralize any existing matrix of banking. Furthermore, smart contracts enable their developers to automate processes. There are many possibilities in decentralized finance, such as lending, borrowing, yield farming, liquidity provision, etc. Without the involvement of banks or governments, these products and services are available to anyone. In today's decentralized finance, several automated market maker protocols are rising. Uniswap, SushiSwap, OneInch, PancakeSwap, and others are notable examples. These platforms can provide a competitive trading volume, enough liquidity, and a growing number of users. The big question is whether or not they will ever be able to compete with traditional centralized exchanges. It's a huge task, but in this world, nothing is impossible. But an automated market makers is not a traditional exchange. An automated market maker and a traditional exchange seem to do the same thing. This is because they both allow for low-cost trading across several markets. However, there are, obviously, a few key differences to be aware of. To begin with, Automated Market Makers does not have an order book. Instead, its liquidity pool is used to purchase and sell at the best available price in real time. Mathematical equations and data from decentralized pricing oracles are used to price assets. Hence, trades are executed instantly at the current price due to native pricing algorithms. Different automated market makers' protocols maintain different pricing algorithms and formulas to price assets. Although it is not something to be concerned about as a user, it is important to be aware of minor differences under the hood. Those with a technical itch can always delve into the inner workings of all of these equations and why they are set up the way they are. On the other hand, traditional exchanges rely on market makers and takers to keep the price spread as low as possible. Large order book differences can cause volatile price fluctuations, potentially spurring the market. Users are empowered by decentralizing the trading and matching process, which enables the establishment of new marketplaces. The Core Workings of an Automated Market Maker In a traditional order book, liquidity is provided from buying and selling orders. Those providing liquidity through orders are often called makers. Makers wait for a market taker to agree to the order. Once that occurs, the exchange can be completed. There are no makers in automated market makers' protocols. In the system, there are no previous orders. Only those interested in exchanging a specific cryptocurrency pair are eligible. Consider the following scenario. A trader visits an exchange like Uniswap to exchange one ETH for AAVE. The Uniswap automated market makers determines an exchange rate of one ETH to 23.48 AAVE based on the current balance of ETH and AAVE in the liquidity pool. The trader accepts the offer, completes the transaction, and receives their 23.48 AAVE fewer fees. The automated market makers leverages liquidity pools to complete the cryptocurrency exchange automatically, eliminating the need for a second trader. When an exchange has enough token pairs available, the automated market makers can trade between any two of the tokens offered, even if they are not in the same liquidity pool. If a trader wants to exchange AAVE for DAI, the automated market makers trade DAI for Ether and Ether for AAVE in a single transaction. An automated market makers will not be able to exist without liquidity. Similar to traditional exchanges, funds are needed to perform trades. However, an automated market makers can be given liquidity by anyone with the right asset in their portfolio. That process is known as liquidity provision, which is usually done through liquidity pools. Let's understand the automated market makers' liquidity pools in detail. Creating a market needs a different method because decentralized exchanges and automated market makers do not use order books. 
liquidity pools are used instead of a maker-taker order book by automated market makers. In general, a liquidity pool is a collection of funds made up of two assets that make up a trading pair. For example, ETH USDT is a pair where users can earn trading fees by sharing their ETH and USDT liquidity. To ensure pool stability, most participants must deposit an equal amount for each asset. The key benefit of using an automated market maker is that anyone can use it. Adding funds to a liquidity pool is simple and takes only a few moments. Depending on the platform, the trading costs for liquidity providers might be above, below, or equal to 0.3%. Popular pairings will raise more fees and more liquidity providers will compete for a piece of the pie. Slippage is also an exciting feature of automated market makers to take into account. The slippage ratio displays the impact of each order on the pool's liquidity as well as the ratio between the two tokens in the market. If there is a huge change, the slippage will easily increase to beyond 10%. If the pool has sufficient liquidity, it is usually 1% or less. If a trader's order is too large, the slippage rate can lead them to pay more or earn fewer tokens from one pair. But you can't ignore impermanent loss. What exactly is impermanent loss? Why should we know about it? We will discuss it in detail. While all of the previous discussion sounds very interesting, no cryptocurrency opportunity is without risk. Impermanent loss is a significant danger to liquidity suppliers. When the price ratio of pooled tokens changes after a user deposits them, this situation will occur. Except for stablecoins, the prices of these assets can go up or down. The more the price change, the greater the impermanent loss. For liquidity providers, the concept of impermanent loss creates a difficult balancing act. While collecting trading fees may sound perfect, no one can predict how asset prices will change. Therefore, it is far better not to provide liquidity and keep the tokens in a wallet in most situations. Popular trading pairs are protected as long as they can generate enough fees for customers to overcome the impermanent loss deficit. Unless funds are kept in a liquidity pool until the price returns to the previous level, there is no way to avoid impermanent loss. Furthermore, even if you provide liquidity for a longer period of time, the user will still be charged fees. As a result, there are ways to earn as a liquidity provider. However, doing so may need some quick math. In this ever-changing marketplace, comparing the various options and determining that one may provide the best results is key. So why should we use automated market makers? The key advantage of adopting an automated market makers is that it provides a secure environment. To give the most accurate value at all times, price data is commonly received from multiple APIs. Additionally, anyone can work as a liquidity provider for automated market makers and earn trading fees. Automated market makers are the most popular DeFi idea on the market today in terms of volume. They represent up to billions of dollars in liquidity and trading volume. However, this business requires a more decentralized approach to cryptocurrency trading that empowers all users. So guys, summarizing today's episode. The appeal of automated market makers cannot be denied. It's highly enticing to provide everyone the opportunity to generate liquidity and earn trading fees. Even though there is a chance of possible loss, most users do not seem to be concerned. There is usually a clear avenue to generating a profit when one can contribute good liquidity to a top-rated pool or one with two stablecoins. At the same time, it's important to remember that automated market makers are still in their adolescence. Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and other similar apps are popular, although their feature set is extremely limited. Although some may argue that such platforms do not require unnecessary bells and whistles, it is important to keep innovating. Furthermore, developers have the potential to reduce fees even more greatly, and friction must be addressed. There's also the possibility that these platforms won't appeal to non-cryptocurrency experts. It will be interesting to observe where automated market makers go in the future. Cryptocurrency is going to change the world, and the future is just around the corner. Are you ready? What do you think about automated market makers? Is it really a good innovation? Let us know in the comment section. All right, guys, we're wrapping up today's video, and we hope you learned many things about the topic. Thanks for checking out our channel. Until next time, bye!